Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and this is Guilds of Ravnica spoiler season. We have a lot to talk about today, including what might be the single greatest removal spell ever created, not even being hyperbolic, my goodness. Oh, also, in case you haven't seen it yet, our exclusive preview was revealed a little while ago. If you enjoy anything Golgari, you'll, uh, you'll want to see it, I guarantee you'll like it. Click the link on the screen to check it out. Now, without further ado, let's talk about absolute nonsense. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do remember to hit that like button, helps out a lot. We're going to start off with a reprint because it's a real important one. Chromatic Lantern is back, thank goodness. This is a card we desperately needed a reprint of. It's simply too popular and too powerful in Commander for it not to be reprinted more often. The Lantern coming back at rare is a big deal and it infuses some value into the set, very important. Sitting at $15 each right now, I can safely say that this is a quality and beloved reprint, kudos wizards. Dream Eater is four of anything and two blue for a 4-3 Nightmare Sphinx with flash and flying. When it enters the battlefield, surveil four. When you do, you may return target non-land permanent on opponent controls to its owner's hand. To surveil four, look at the top four cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on top of your library in any order. Whoa, this is a big Nightmare Sphinx. Great creature type, just awesome. Six mana for a 4-3 flash flyer is already pretty interesting. Not only that, but you get to dig four cards deep and fix the top of your library. Not only that, but you also get to bounce any non-land permanent on opponent controls. So you can pay a lot of mana for this, get a strong attacker on your opponent's turn, fix the top of your deck four cards deep, and time walk your opponent by returning their best card to their hand, forcing them to replay it. I get why this is a mythic. Absolutely fantastic for a control deck. This is the type of game ender blue control decks want. It does literally everything. Instant speed, deck fixing, tempo disruption. It might not seem flashy to you, but this is a control deck game finisher. It just is, it's quite strong. Just wow. Niv Mizzet Perrin is three blue and three red. Wait, three blue and three red? What, that can't be right. No, it, it is right. Wow, okay. Niv Mizzet is three blue and three red for a 5-5 five, five legendary creature dragon wizard with flying that can't be countered. Whenever you draw a card, Niv Mizzet deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you may draw a card. Niv Mizzet is super dumb. If not for the mana cost, this would be all over everything, probably why the cost is so absurd, to prevent splashing or reaching with a weak mana base. Anyways, this isn't monsters crazy strong. Six mana for a 5-5 five, five flyer that can't be countered, already good. Whenever you draw a card, it pings anything you want. And whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. So anyone plays an instant or sorcery, you draw a card, then deal one damage to whatever you want. That's hilarious and powerful. Powerful. Obviously meant for a commander with a mana cost like that, Niv has to go into the Locust God, right? Or just take over the deck? Not like he also fits in every other is it commander deck ever, though. Think about it. Mizzix, perfect fit. Malik, perfect Arjun. You kidding me right now? This Niv Mizzix truly is the parent of is it? This is peak Niv Mizzix right here. I'm so glad he isn't mythic so we can all get foil copies without selling limbs. So good. Hypothesizzle is three of anything, one blue and one red for an instant, draw two cards, then you may discard a non-land card. When you do, Hypothesizzle deals four damage to target creature. Hypothesizzle would probably go great in a deck that also just sizzles and might have a few cards that are a bit grizzle. E. Sure, that works. Anyways, the card's name's Hysterical. The card itself is more than fine for limited and is a solid jumpstart enabler. Man, this name. It's like we got Snoop Dogg designing up in here. It's kind of awesome. Assassin's Trophy is one black and one green for an instant destroy target permanent on opponent controls. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle their library. I just... What, what is this? Is this real? What year is this? It's 2018. It's September 2018. Remember this. Remember this moment. Because this is the moment where we saw the most powerful removal spell in Magic get printed. Right now. I'm not being anywhere near hyperbolic. This card is legit stupid. It's like if you took Abrupt Decay and gave it steroids. It doesn't matter at all that it's black and green. Doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter that you give your opponent a basic land. Couldn't mean any less. Look at Path to Exile. No one cares about that caveat. No one will care about this. But the difference between the two, you get to destroy target permanent. Anything. Not just a creature or something with a low converted mana cost. Anything. This includes planeswalkers, enchantments, 
even lands. Tron lands even. Don't get it twisted. Assassin's Trophy is one of the strongest cards Wizards has printed in the last 25 years. Hands down, not even close. This stupid thing we'll see play in every single format a black green deck is good in. Every single one. You're looking at the chase rare of the set. Think Heliod it isn't mythic. We're entering a new time in magic. The time of Assassin's Trophy. So dumb. So dumb. Find is two hybrid black and green mana for a sorcery. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Finality is four of anything, one black and one green for a sorcery. You may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature you control. Then all creatures get minus four minus four until end of turn. I love split cards, but wow, do I hate how they are orientated. This is what the card looks like normally. I don't want to tilt my head to see that. Anyways, these split cards are designed well. Find is a cheap spell that can help you get back what you need from your yard, and Finality is an expensive spell for the late game that clears the board except for something huge that you have, you know, hopefully. What makes these split cards so good is the versatility. You get something cheap that you can use early, or something expensive that you can use late. It's two cards in one. Having more options is never bad. Great and limited, two mana for two cards. Not so bad, I'm a fan. Response is two red and white hybrid mana for an instant. It deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Resurgence is three of anything, one red and one white for a sorcery. Creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance until end of turn. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Wow! Again, solid split card. You get a super strong and cheap removal spell for two mana. I mean, this combat trick really good. And then you get an extra combat step, extra main phase, and first strike and vigilance for all of your creatures. Yeah, these split cards are already looking real nice. Tons of versatility here. You have a heavily defensive option and a heavily offensive option. Another card for limited, but also maybe standard. Response is actually a solid spell for control deck. I'm just saying. And that's going to do it for the first day of Guilds of Ravnica preview season. You have to let me know how you're feeling so far. What do you think of Assassin's Trophy? What about Niv-Mizzet? There's a lot going on in this set already, so please be sure to leave me your thoughts. I gotta know what you're thinking. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the channel all week for more Guilds of Ravnica goodness. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you apart by TCGPlayer.com. If this set already intrigues you as much as it intrigues me, then do I have good news for you. You can pre-order boxes of the new set on TCG Player right now for $91 each, shipping included. If you don't have a local game store or yours charges way too much, click the link on the screen, get your boxes for a fair price. It's awesome. Everything is awesome. You're awesome. I love you. Okay, I'm getting a bit excited. Enjoy.